So I literally just got back from an AMD event in Sydney for Threadripper 2. It took two four hour bus trips, but I'm finally back and it was definitely worthwhile, as you'll soon see. I got to the venue with just a couple of minutes to spare and was greeted by Kevin from Tech Showdown. He flew over from New Zealand just for the day and he's actually responsible for getting me in contact with AMD, so massive thanks to him for that. If you like PC tech, definitely check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. After arriving, there was a presentation covering a heap of information on AMD's new second generation Threadripper CPUs. Just for reference, these are the specs of the three first generation Threadripper CPUs that launched in August last year. And when compared to Intel, this gave us cheaper multi-core options. So much so that I bought the 1950X in September. The second generation brings four new CPUs. These are the two new X-Series chips, which are aimed at enthusiasts and gamers. The 2920X and 2950X. 12 and 16 core parts respectively, using the 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture. Not only do both have higher clock speeds than their first gen counterparts, their launch prices are cheaper than last generation too, which is awesome to see. In addition to the two X chips are the two WX chips, which are aimed at content creators and anyone that would really benefit from more cores. The 2970WX and 2990WX are 24 and 32 core CPUs respectively, and interestingly the price looks pretty competitive. 32 cores for double the price of the 16 core 2950X. Sure, the 32 variant is clocked lower, but this seems like fairly scalable pricing and is definitely very competitive. But we'll have to see how it goes in the benchmarks next week. Steve from Hardware Unboxed has one of these at the moment. So if you don't already and want some undoubtedly detailed benchmarks, make sure you subscribe to their channel. After the presentation, there was a 2950X CPU on display. And this was what I was most interested in, as it's basically the newer version of the 1950X, which is what I run in my personal rig. And turns out I was actually able to take it home with me. I was planning to make this more of a vlog style video, but that changed once I had to work out how to get these two boxes home with me. No time for sticking a camera in my face, unfortunately. This really made the trip worthwhile, as now I get to test out AMD's second generation Threadripper 2950X CPU. The reviewer kit came in this massive box so that it can be displayed and look pretty. And inside was a newly redesigned case for the CPU itself, 32GB of G-Skill memory, and the new Wraithripper cooler. In addition to that, I've also got the ASUS Zenith Extreme motherboard for testing, as well as a LickTech all-in-one liquid cooler. As for performance though, you'll have to wait until next week for detailed benchmarks and reviews, as that's still under NDA. So in theory, I'll have a video on the 2950X up next week with full details, benchmarks and comparisons. There's heaps of work to get done before that, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything.